Pivot tables are a great way to group your data, but when it comes to dates, it's a bit more tricky. What if you want to show the dates with no data in them? What if you have your own nomenclature or you want to implement your custom grouping such as having a different fiscal year? In order to solve this problem, we're gonna look at the calendar feature in the data model. It's an awesome feature. If you have not heard about it, let me know in the comment section. I'm just curious to see how many of you have not seen this feature. For the moment, let's go and implement it. Let's help Sandeep, the coolest employee in this company. He doesn't know much about pivot table, so we're gonna help him. He wants to insert a pivot table the traditional way. Let's click inside the data, insert, pivot table, new worksheet. And here I'm gonna put the sales and the dates in the row. If you have Excel 2016 and above, you get a surprise. You have now the years, the quarters, the months, and then the dates. If you don't like this, just drag one, for example, like this to the garbage, it's gone. You can also right click and select ungroup. Now here, if you see the first problem, it's very hard to read this. We don't have all the dates because they don't have numbers. So we need to fix this. The second problem that we have, let me right click and group. And you can group by a lot of parameters, years, hours, minutes, etc. I'm going to select months and years. Press OK. And there you go. Now the problem is Sandeep wants his own nomenclature. He wants to have Jan-2021 here. If I press enter, notice in line 18, boom, you get it here also. That's not good. And finally, the Indian fiscal year is different. He wants to add it here. I don't have options. Let's go and help him. Right click, delete this sheet. I don't want to see it anymore. The first step is to transform this data into an Excel table, which is kind of a database. So click inside. Go to insert, click on table or do control T. That's the same. It will recognize your data. We have headers, press OK. Let's call this data, press enter. Next step, let's add this to our data model. Click inside, power pivot, and here you have add to data model. Now to complete the magic, if you see here, I just have one table. Let me show you what we do. Let's go back to data view design, date table, and this is how I add a calendar. Click on new. This is your calendar. It will be insane. Look at that. You have the dates, the year, month number, and so on, and you can add. Now, if you want to change the dates that you have here because it automatically takes them, go to your date table, update range, here it looks at my data set, takes the smallest value and the biggest value and it's automatic, but I can change it manually. So let's close this. And now to complete the magic, there is one more step to do. Let's go to our diagram view. And we need to create a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend between those two tables. So this is my date. This is my other date. By the way, if they have different name, doesn't matter. Just click here, drag select the other one. This is the relationship. Perfect. Now I don't want people to mess with this date. Right click, hide from client tools. So now the dates will be selected from here. We are done. That's it for the relationship. There are more complications that will come, but let's go back here and insert now another pivot table. So we go to insert and we click on pivot table. Now this arrow from data model new worksheet. If you notice, now I have the calendar and the data table. Let's click here. You don't see the date, sales amount, and from the calendar, more fields. I can put, for example, the date in my rows. Now you notice nothing has changed, but right click, pivot table options, display, show items with no data on rows. Click and you get your table with all the dates. It's way easier to read. Now, thank you Sandeep for the cake, but I prefer a like on this video and a subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome.
Now let's copy paste this table, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, nothing fancy here. And what I want to do is instead of those dates, I want to use my other date. So we come here, more fields. I don't want the date. I want the MMMYY. Let's put it here. You can see it comes, but I have a big problem. It is alphabetically sorted. I don't want this. I want to have Jan 2021, Feb, etc. What to do in this case? Let's go back to our famous model. So we go to Power Pivot, Manage. I need to sort this column the right way. To sort it, I can use a helper column. So we go here, Add Column, double click, Helper, Call, press Enter. And here we need a formula. So the formula, this is a small hack I'm going to teach you. You're going to love it. It's the year times 100 plus the month's number. Press enter and notice how you have 01, 2021, but now it's a number. So for example, February is a bigger number because it ends with 02. And now I can just click on this column, sort by, this is under home, sort by column. And we select our helper column, press OK. There we go. Here nothing changes, but if I go back, everything is sorted the right way. Magic. Final one, we want the Indian fiscal year and fiscal quarter as an example to show you that you can add things to your model and automatically use them. So let's go to manage. And here I want to start with the fiscal year. So here we double click. Fiscal India, we need a formula to transform the dates into fiscal years. Now the fiscal year starts on the 1st of April till the 31st of March of the next year. So we can use an if formula. We can say if the months, so the months is here. Let's assume that the months is smaller or equal than three. That means that it is for the previous fiscal year. Come on, what do we do in this case? The fiscal year would be the previous year, so 2021 minus 1, so that will be 2020. Let's add and, double quotation, dash, double quotation. This will add a double quotation. And we need 2021. Let's try it out and see what happens. Press enter. So you can see that those are 2020, 2021. Now, in the other case, what do we want? It will be 2021-2022. So let's take this one and do and double quotation dash double quotation and let's add the year plus one. Press enter. And now if I go down, you can see that for example, April 2022 becomes 2022-2023. Let's go back up and let's do the quarters. Quarters, India. Press enter. Here, we're going to use a switch formula. So equal switch. You're going to see what it does. This is my switch. We have an expression. Then if I get the value one, what do I want to return? If I get value two, what do I want to return? And so on. So the expression is actually the month number. So we can just select it, comma. If the month is January, then it's quarter four. So what do we do in this case? We put a four, comma. If it's Feb, quarter four, comma. If it's March, quarter four. Now, if it goes to April, which will be the month number four, it's quarter one and so on. I'm just gonna do it quickly so I don't bore you. You can see me do it. This is five, one, six, one, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, Let's add before it double quotation Q and press enter. So now you get the quarter. For example, this is quarter four. We are done with this. Let's close it. Control C, Control V. That's another table. I want to remove this. And I want to take from the calendar. Fiscal year of India. And here I want to put the quarters. There we go, works like a charm. Sandeep is ecstatic because now he has his custom fiscal year and quarters.